Come with me as I absolutely butcher the clown loach overflow tank. First of all, we lay our glass out, so that's the base here, that's the three holes going to go into the sump. The two ends and the two sides, the double one there is going into the aquarium itself. Next, we pull out the old isoprop, give everything a clean up. So we're just cleaning along the edges here, getting any smudges, fingerprints, any dirty grime and stuff off that the silicon won't stick to. Next, we get the tape out and edge around the tape to make it a cleaner job. Don't need to do the top end, but I did it anyway. And then I chucked a couple of little flaps on the edges so when everything's put together, we can just stick them across so it holds into place. Last thing, before we start gluing, just give that edges another wee clean up with a bit of ISO just in case you've sort of touched it and it's gotten all sticky and what not. Now it's time for silicon. I prefer the clear over the black, but make sure it always says aquariums on it, like the Sally's product does here. Then we try to run a clean bead along the edge where the glass is between the tape. I'm not so good at that, and this is basically where all the trouble began. One-handed silicon is not ideal, two-handed I still suck at as well. I couldn't get a video of me lifting all them in place, I'm the only one here, but you stand them up and stick all the glue in together like that. As you can see, there's little orange tape flaps here to hold everything in place. Made sure it was all square where it needed to be square and just chuck my cramps on just tight enough to hold it, not tight enough to squeeze it too hard. As you can see here, the monstrosity is becoming, this is just an absolute disgusting display of aquarium building. It's a good time. Took the inside tape off, uh, looks a little bit tidier, but it still looks absolutely feral to be fair. It is square where I need it to be square, which is at this end here, which is going to be sitting on the aquarium, or attached to the aquarium. But overall, this is a disaster. Follow me for more DIY advice when it comes to building aquariums.